up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher white. This is what I want to hear. Check this. Dillian White has declared that he wants to fight Luis Ortiz next if Alexander Povetkin remains unavailable. He says he don't intend to keep putting his career on hold and would be happy to face Ortiz in February, then do perfecting rematch in April or May. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. See, at this point, in 2020, as fucked up as everything are, the pandemic and all this stuff, all these good people dying around us and all this, and it's, it's terrible, but boxing is still surviving. And some fights, if they're worthy enough, Okay, if these fights are worthy enough, if they're most if they're important enough, they will happen. Now, this is for all the people that make the jokes about Ortiz, that talks about how old Ortiz is, that says Ortiz don't he ain't fought anyone other than Wilder and he's lost to both. Okay. Dillian White's calling this man out. So that means he must be something and he must mean something to someone. Okay? Luis King on Kong Ortiz and Dillian White, that's my dream fight. I've been wanting that type of fight for the longest time. That's like my Floyd Mayweather weather versus Edis Landy Lada. That was a fight in the heavyweight division I wanted to see more than Wilder and Joshua. You know what I mean? That was like the second one on my list. If it happens, this is what I want. I just sent a message to Jay Jimenez, the manager of King Kong Boxing, okay? Luis Ortiz. I hope he gets what I'm talking about because... This is what happens. What happens is, this is the 17th of December, 2020, right? And what's ha what happens is, Dillian White declares he wants to fight Luis Ortiz. You don't hear shit, right? It's like they got a, uh, like in fucking Miami, they don't have internet over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't hear anything. You don't, you don't hear no response or comment from anybody. That's why I did what I did. And then when something else transpires, when Dillian White gets another offer to fight someone like Andy Ruiz, then all of a sudden, did it, did it, did it, you know? Then here's Luis Ortiz. Hey, I'll fight you. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Where you at? You know, we got we, we to gotta get the communication together, okay? You know. Hablamos. Mismo idoma. Let's speak the same language to get this fight together. Please. Por favor. Right? And we've waited long enough to see this fight. Both guys have taken a loss. Uh, Ortiz got knocked out last year. 19. Dillian White got knocked out this year, 2020. Luis Ortiz said he would, he would like to fight the loser out of Ortiz. I mean, Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, which he wanted Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz ducked him, okay? And also, by default, Andy Ruiz ducked Dillian White, too. So why don't these two guys fight each other? Why not? I would say that. I would say let this fight happen. Let the people from Luis King Kong Ortiz, his management, if they're not full of shit, let this fight, get this fight together. Because this type of fight warrants a competition. This is the best from PBC. This is like second in command from PBC and Matchroom, right? And if you bring these two guys together, I think you will have one hell of a fight. Because more than just the namesake, the namesake brings the skill set. And both of these guys possess big skill and good skill. They're about the same height, not the same age, but... They're neck and neck and as respected heavyweights on their stables on both sides of the street. Okay. So, yes, I love what Dillian White's doing. I love that he's calling out Luis Ortiz because if he can fight Ortiz and beat Ortiz, that's a whole different thing. But if Luis Ortiz can beat him, that would mean a lot on both sides if they won. That's a huge victory on either side. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Dillian White declaring calling out Luis King Kong Ortiz of course please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch peace